But when, once you get your transfusion, you feel better. My name is Vijay Sankaran. I'm a pediatric hematologist and I care for children with blood disorders. And our laboratory has been interested in studying how blood cells are produced and how this process goes awry in human disease. And specifically, how can common variation in blood traits, for example, affect blood production? In the past, people have done this with reporter assays, but typically they would have to go one by one for each element of interest. With this massively parallel reporter assay, or MPRA, we can actually go to hundreds of thousands of elements and look at them all at once. We're really good at narrowing regions of genome that are associated with human traits and disease, but what we have a poor time doing is actually finding the specific difference in the population that drives that trait. What MPRA allows us to do is take these large regions of the genome that we know have been selected for and systematically evaluate the individual variants and try to find the ones that are likely causal and which ones are just kind of passengers along for the ride during the, during the selection process. The key is that we're putting a DNA barcode in the 3' UTR of the gene. When we sequence the uh, mRNA that gets expressed during transcription of the gene, we can count the barcodes and attribute it to specific sequences that we put into the assay. I thought MPRA could be, if, if we could make the tool sensitive enough to detect subtle changes that uh, variation likely causes in expression, that it would be an excellent tool to you know, kind of bomb an entire region and test every single variant. And so our goal was to build an assay that's easily transferable where other groups um, can apply it to their uh, disease of interest and the, their genome-wide association studies. And instead of just using 10 or 20 barcodes that tagged each segment of the genome, we ramped that up. So now we can test you know, dozens to hundreds of barcodes associated with each oligo. And this allows us to decrease the noise. Essentially what we're learning from these types of studies is that there's a spectrum of human variation, both what we see in disease, but also what's occurring commonly that actually has a common theme and it's actually affecting a common process. Most of this common variation is actually just tuning gene expression, just slightly. Not turning it on or off, but actually just tuning it like a dimmer switch. We started uh, working on the MPRA and at this, around the same time, VJ's group, unknown to us, was also you know, applying that to their red blood cell traits. And then we connected and realized that we were both, you know, applying MPRA to narrow in on causal variants. We would certainly not have been able to do this work without the community here at the Broad, a number of great colleagues, people who are interested in developing the technology, and obviously those of us who are interested in applying that technology to the problems that we're interested in. I think that it's extremely satisfying to know that we could gain further insight into what's happening in our patients use this technology to understand at a basic level what's happening, but then also start to develop tools that could potentially help us intervene in our patients in ways that we couldn't have imagined before.